We just got done talking about polynomial functions and a specific type of polynomial is your quadratic function. So polynomials are a bunch of power functions added together, um, but here is a specific one. The quadratic function is a specific polynomial, okay? Um, and they have a degree of two. So standard form for um, a quadratic is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, in order to be in standard form, you always have your highest um, x degree or exponent um, to your lowest in order. So we have x squared, x the first, and then there's no x here, so it's really x to zero. Um, so that's, all, that's what it means to be in standard form. Um, to be in vertex form, this tells you your vertex of your uh, quadratic. So it's your vertex is x1 comma y1 and your vertex is always located right here okay so it's kind of the nice thing about vertex form is you know your vertex just by looking at it um, there is one other form that i don't have on here that would be good to know is you got your factored form so you have y equals a and then x minus i'm going to use p and x minus q in factored form P and Q are your zeros. And just remember, zeros are also your x-intercepts. They're the same thing, x-intercepts, okay? So when you're in factored form, it's nice because you can find your x-intercepts right away. Um, one other thing about quadratics, just to kind of remind you, in order to find your line of symmetry from your standard form, the way you find that is using the equation x equals the opposite of b over 2a. Okay, so you take whatever this number is in front of x, divide it by 2 times your a value. That's how you find your line of symmetry. So all three of these forms are super nice, but they all tell us different things. Okay, um, so we're going to do some examples that use all three um, as we go ahead and progress through the next few examples. But there's your intro to quadratics.